In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to hold down the fort. Now, a fort is like an old building, like in history, when you study uh, when they first settled in Canada, they built forts, these big places where they could stay safely. But nowadays, when we say to hold down the fort, we mean the person who stays behind when someone else goes somewhere or when other people go somewhere. Here's a good example. Later this semester, there may be some class trips at our school. Some students might go on class trips, but I probably won't go. I'll probably stay behind and hold down the fort. Sometimes when Jen goes to market, she doesn't need help at market, so I'll stay home and hold down the fort. So when you say that you are holding down the fort, it simply means you are one of the people or the person who stays home or stays at work when other people go somewhere. I usually like to be the person who holds down the fort, especially at work. When a lot of people leave and I'm one of the only people in the building, it's very quiet and very peaceful. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, to hold off and in particular the meaning of hold off that means to delay or wait. Sometimes I have a really good idea and I want to do extra things for my YouTube channel but I hold off because I think I don't want to get too busy so I just hold off for a bit. That means I wait. That means I delay. Sometimes there's things I want to do outside on the farm but sometimes when it's the middle of winter I tend to hold off for a little bit. I wait a little while until the weather gets a little bit nicer. So to review, to hold down the fort means to be one of the people who stays at home or stays at work or stays wherever while other people go somewhere. You just stay back and hold down the fort. And to hold off, one of the meetings of to hold off is to simply uh, wait or to delay before you do something. Anyways, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from, whoa, I really folded this one up today. Just a minute here. This is from Ol Rate. So we could say that during first wave of COVID, we all stayed put, each in his or her home. And I said, that is correct. At the beginning of the pandemic, the governments of the world wanted everyone to stay put. Great example. So yes, that was from the phrase the other day, to stay put. Kind of similar to hold down the fort, isn't it? When you stay put, uh, it also could be uh, that you're hold. It's not exactly the same meaning, but it also could mean that similar to holding down the fort. Uh, anyways, it is uh, starting to get a little nicer here. The sun is shining. It's a balmy seven degrees today. <laughs> I know for you that might be quite cold. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain and snow and rain and snow uh, at this point in time in Canada. It's usually um, quite cold at night and quite warm during the day. And so it causes strange things to happen like if you look out at the river, you'll notice that the river, it's flooded and kind of frozen and then it melted and then it froze again. And right now it's kind of half melted. So we're kind of stuck in this little in-between time where, uh, yeah, during the day, uh, quite nice. I think I'm pushing the wrong button here. Uh, during the day, quite nice. Uh, even wearing a winter jacket, I feel quite warm, but at night, extremely cold. So we'll have to go through this for a few more weeks and then, uh, and then spring should arrive. That should be really nice. Anyways, I hope you understood the two phrases today. Let me check my time here. Oh, I can talk for 10 more seconds. What should I talk about? I'm having a good day today. I'm behind in all the work I need to do, but I'm still having a good day. Anyways, see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.